Okay, yes. Welcome to the show. It's me again, Paul P. In today's episode, we will be making what I call YMCA. YMCA is not uh, you, young men something something. It's not the song also. It stands for yesterday's meal cooked again. In other words, we will cook leftovers today. Specifically, the binakol episode. I told you I was going to make a lot because I'm going to make another dish afterwards. This is the day. Today we will show you how to make. Oh, I will show you how to make uh, pospas. Okay. Now let's narrow it down. We have luga, which is just rice, and then you put a topping of egg or chicharron on top, and then you put garlic on it, right? Next to that is arroz caldo, which is lugao with tripe. Now, if you remove the tripe, you change it with chicken. That's what you get pospas. I learned this dish by... Actually, this is my favorite dish when I'm sick. You know, um, they, say, they say that chicken soup is good when you're sick. Well, pospas is chicken soup with rice. You cook the rice in the chicken soup until it's soft and fluffy and it's like rice porridge that's why it's so good and it's actually very healthy for you one because it has a lot of ginger it warms your body up from the inside today i'll be using the chicken from the binacol the leftover chicken from the binacol and the soup from the binacol aside from that we're going to have an akrut akutramand akrut no no akrut akutramand which is a side dish that will accompany our pospas, which is actually tokot baboy. So, tara, I'll show you first the ingredients that I will need for the pospas, and then I'll show you the video from yesterday, wherein I boiled the pork belly for the the chongkawale that I will use for the tokot baboy. So, tara, I'll show you my ingredients and let's start cooking. See ya. Okay guys, oh yeah, by the way, I had my hair cut. Hey. So here's what we will need. Our trusty uh, garlic, sliced garlic. We will toast these and some of them we will leave in the pot. So we, when we cook it with some onions. Okay. After that, we will add some, well, this is not actually julienne, a little bit thicker than julienne ginger and our chicken from the binacol which I will actually shred and the soup from the binacol fat and all why do we need the fat the fat is actually going to make the soup a bit more emulsified which will give it that certain silkiness to it which is what I'm actually looking forward to and then our last ingredient, this is quite hard to get. This is saffron. Technically the most expensive spice in the world. This is Iranian saffron, which was given to me by a friend of mine. And this is what we will use to flavor and color our pospas. Okay. So I will show you the ingredients for the lechon koale afterwards, but for now, let's start cooking. See ya! Okay guys, I'm here in my kitchen now, and let's start cooking. So first, you'll need to add some oil. Quite a bit of oil. Because we will toast our garlic. Okay, we want this a little bit on the brown side. If you notice, I had my hair cut already, but I'm still sweating like hell because it's really warm these days. Not only that, I always wear black, so black absorbs light and heat more than white shirts. Thus, I'm always feeling warm. Okay, so you can see guys, our garlic is frying 
let this fry, constantly stir it or shake the pan so that it won't burn. You just want it somewhat light brown or toasted because we will use it for our topping later. We already have two candidates of the brown club. Three. To lower the flame. I think our garlic chips are done. You don't want to burn your garlic because burnt garlic is sacrilege to me. It'll turn off the flame. It's easier to get it from this angle. You just scoop it all out like this. Garlic is nice and toasty. And so am I. Oh, I am also nice and toasty now. There. I'm also sweating like hell. Pretty. Okay. Next step. Start your flame again. Add in your onions and a bit of the garlic that you did it crispy. There. Add it in. Look at that. Nice to cook. Let's adjust this camera. There. Nice and scented. At this point, we will add in our sliced ginger we want that gingery taste it is really good with post pass okay to this we will add in our washed washed rice okay is somewhat like a risotto and at this point we will add in our saffron about this much actually a bit more there so take this then add your Binacol broth. And let this simmer. Now. We'll wait for this to simmer. It's constantly stir it. So you don't want to burn the rice at the bottom. So has any one of you gone to the mall during this GCQ? The farthest I've gone during this quarantine is the grocery. And it's the grocery near us. Now, let's put it this way. After staying in that grocery for about 20, 30 minutes, paranoia kicks in. It's freaking me out because I'm scared of COVID. that simmer and then we put it on time-lapse first see ya okay guys sorry I'm really really sweating I don't know why it's really warm and 
I'm making porridge in this warm weather. So as you can see guys, it's already slowly simmering. We'll add more water to this because we want this, we don't want it to dry out. And we're going to let this simmer here for a good um, 20, 25 minutes until the rice is overcooked and the starches will actually absorb a lot of water and make this into somewhat like a very smooth risotto okay so simmer let's go i'll show you the ingredients that i will need for the tokot maboy so yeah okay so here's what we will need first of all i'm going to show you a video of me cooking the pork yesterday three two one two Okay. Good morning guys. That's what my future self was saying. I'm going to make the the chongkawale by bake by actually boiling it first in water and some spices. What we will need is peppercorns and one laurel leaf. Some soy sauce. The pork belly specifically and a pot of water I will put this all together boil it and then once the pork is fully cooked and it's a bit tender we'll remove it from the water or from the liquid and then we will see we will dry this for overnight and then we'll deep fry it for our Lechong Kawale tomorrow. So that will be for my future self. Okay? So I will continue with this. And by the time you watch this, my future self will be done prepping for the other one. For the dish. So see ya. Bye bye. Okay guys, so you've seen how I made it. This is the result of that. Look at this. Okay. This is the fat from and actually the drippings from the what I boiled. Technically, I boiled it in that liquid and this is the liquid now. I actually kept it in the refuge, reduce it and get what you call kulao. That's actually get kulao. I will heat this up later and mix it in with a vegetable with a well, technically it's vegetables because I'll be mixing it with this. This is very, very, very thinly sliced onions. As you can see, it's paper thin. We will slightly pickle this in vinegar and some chili. Okay. This is just plain white vinegar. We will add a bit of sugar to this. Which we will actually cut the acidity off. Just by, just by a bit. So, what happened to my pork? I've been keeping it dry by freezing it and then toaster for almost the whole day yesterday. And this is what I get. It's almost completely dry, which means when I fry this, it's going to be super crispy. It's actually, it's really good. It's somewhat like, tasting like adobo, okay? And we have our tofu. This is firm tofu, also known as tokwa in the Philippines. I only sliced it in half. It's supposed to be one whole piece like this. I sliced it in half so that when I fry it, I'll just chop this into small squares. Same with the pork and we will mix it all with that pickle and that kulao. This is going to be so good. It's the perfect accompaniment to that pospas. So, I will now show you how you make that kulao first while waiting for our post pasta cook. Here we have the white vinegar. We will add in, actually, we'll add in our vegetables first. This is our red onion. See? Starting to color the, the vinegar purple already. 
we have a bit of our chili, green chili, the ikanga ceiling pang sigang, and then a bit of sugar. Mix this and let it quick pickle in this. And later, when the cola oil is fully thawed, we will heat heat it up in a microwave, and then we'll mix it with this, and we will pour this over our tokwa and our baboy, thus making it tokwa baboy. Okay, look at that. I hope this is gonna be strong. Sometimes I used to have this um. My friend from Bacol, no, not Bacol, from Aklan brings this sukang sasa. It's actually nipa vinegar that they ferment in a unique way there. It's so strong and it has a spicy kick to it. I love it. I'm not a fan of very, sp uh, uh, very spicy or sour foods, but I make an exception for that one because the flavor of the sukang sasa is so good. Okay, so we let this pickle. And let's go back to our postmas. See ya. Okay, guys. I'm sweating again because I'm back here in the kitchen. Check this out. The starch has already emulsified the salt, the soup, sauce color, the soup. And look at this. It looks gorgeous. Now we'll give this a taste. Set. needs a bit of salt. You know what? Don't use salt. You have the best thing ever. You have patis. We are Filipinos so we use patis to flavor stuff like this. There. Add patis and then we will now add our chicken. I shredded the chicken already. Make sure that there is no bones and no down chili in the chicken. Give it a stir. There. Nice and hearty chicken binacol postas. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Look at this. One more try. Mm. Perfecto. Okay. So we'll move on to our akutramon, which is our tokot baboy. We'll start frying the pork and the tokwa. See ya. Okay, guys. So our pan with our oil is nice and hot. It's so hot that I'm sweating. But it's okay. It's cooking. Okay, so. We'll now drop in our pork. Make sure it doesn't stick by moving it around. Ow! That will hit me right in the face. Make sure you cover it. It's okay. Got some burn marks in my face. That's okay. All for the sake of food. Comes with the territory, guys. You want super crispy pork? That's how you get super crispy pork. We'll add in another piece. Just fry. Relax. 
Good thing there was a layer of sweat on my face, or else that would have hurt. Like here and here. But it comes with the territory. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is palm oil. Okay. The normal palm oil. Okay, I believe this one is not yet done. A bit more. You want this just a bit over brown. This one's nice. You get this one out. Look at that, guys. Nice and crispy. Get that dry on a rack. Get that cool on a, on a sieve and make sure that all the oil drips off. Now, for our second batch, quickly and cover. I'm scared. <laughs> Hear that? It's popcorn. Popcorn. Popcorn pork. <laughs> more popping, no more popping. This one looks a lot crispier. That. Dum 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 dum. Bum 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 bum. Okay, I'll finish frying this. Then I'll continue with that tofu. See ya. Okay, guys. So. Now we will drop in our tofu squares. Don't spark! Don't spark on me! Look, I dropped it. Tupperware down! Tupperware down! Let's deep fry this until it's golden brown. Like really golden brown. You can see guys it's now starting to get color and starting to get crispy yep. a little bit more Okay, I believe this batch is done. We'll move on to our next batch. But for now, I'll cut the video here because it's just gonna be the same thing frying. So I'll see you in the dining when we plate everything up. See ya. Okay guys, so we're now here in my dining table. I will show you how to plate your tokot baboy. First, 
we will need to use a nice cleaver. Oh. Any knife will do. Just need a sharp one so that when you slice your pork, it comes out evenly. So we'll choose this one. First, you will slice this way so you can separate the bones. You see the bones are diagonal, so you slice there. That's okay. So we'll leave those for the side. And then this one, just slice this. This. Ooh, hear that? Super crunchy. There. Okay. Now we have your pork. We'll put this on a bowl. I think that one wanted to stay so we can give it a taste. But we'll taste it all, all together later. Okay, so next we will get our tofu. Choose a nice one there. Two pieces of tofu, one slab of pork. See? Crispy on the outside, fluffy in the middle. Just give this a nice light chop. Okay, now, wait, we'll put this all together here and I'll show you how to plate this. If you notice, I'm not touching it with my hands because I know for a fact that it's still hot. Okay, no, oh. the cleaver nearly fell on my foot. <laughs> That's okay. Next. We will have our vinegar mixture, the one we've been pickling. And then we will pour in our kulao, or what we rendered yesterday. Combine it. Do that. And then we will pour this over top for that beautiful, beautiful mixture of Sour, salty, a bit of sweetness, and a bit of spice. Okay, so there you have it. This is our tokat baboy. Now we will proceed with the pospas. Hmm. Okay, so here's what we will do in a nice bowl. La -da. We will get a bit of our pospas. Mmm, it's good. Ah, it's thick and nice. The like greedy really thickened. Wow, almost like a porridge. There. Beautiful. And then to that, we will add in a bit of our toasted garlic toasted garlic chips on one side and our hard boiled egg then a garnish of green onions and there you have it um, chicken pospas, well, chicken binacol pospas, and our tokat baboy. Match made in heaven, guys. Actually, I'm looking forward to eating this with my mom. I don't want to taste this because I tried the pospas a while ago. It was perfect. This one, we'll give this one a try. It's one piece of pork with that kula o. Mm. <coughs> Ooh. That vinegar has a kick. Woohoo! But it's really good. So, nice and sour. Nice and fatty. The crispy. We'll try some of the tofu. <coughs> Ooh, vinegar. The tofu is nice. 
It's really crispy. Has a slight kick from the chili and that onion it has a lot of flavor. Okay, so this is my YMCA meal or yesterday's meal cooked again. Thank you for watching the vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Paul Always Good Tom Never Busog, on Twitter at Paul Always Good Tom, and on Facebook at Always Good Tom Never Busog. So, <laughs> I hope you guys are inspired to prepare these for your family. Remember, keep safe, keep social distancing, and love your family as much as you love yourself. So, bye bye. See you in the next episode. Taraka and tayo. Thank you.